hi we're back we're back I, we're always saying that because we go away and then we come back but we're, we're never here. really gone gone no but like life happens and we're thinking about you the whole time totally missing you dming you know, with you dming with you absolutely so true yes so today is just a good old-fashioned get ready with me yep plus bagels plus bagels plus chit chat plus beers beers plus showing you a couple new things yeah we have a couple new fun things that we've been testing out or maybe are testing out for the first time yes i haven't even swatched yes these. uh so uh, we have some pumpkin bagels with pumpkin spice cream cheese from thb which is local to baltimore uh, hashtag sponsored. Mm -hmm. These were gifted bagels and they are delicious. I would say the pumpkin cream cheese tastes like pumpkin pie filling. Mm -hmm. Like a pumpkin roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, and drinks. So this has captured my heart. Down East Pumpkin Blend Unfiltered Craft Cider. So this is a pumpkin and apple cider. Uh huh. I was just thinking about apple cider this morning. It is it. so good. Uh, so you do have to kind of like mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it says shake it and then wait 10 seconds. It does? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Smell test. Cidery. Mm -hmm. I told you. It is the best cider I've ever had. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's right. I think it'd even be good warm. Well, yeah. Right? Cause it tastes kind of like spiced hot apple cider. Yes. And it says, so part of the thing that I did read is that it's a, a blend of apples, pumpkin, and chai spices. Yes. So like, yeah, that chai spice takes some of that like <laughs> sweetness out. It's so good. Mmm. It's so good. I will say it doesn't taste like alcohol at all. No, zero, but there's 5%. Yeah, I bought the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation with SPF 15. Have you tried it? I have. Hmm? It's very runny mm -hmm. and I love it. <laughs> because it doesn't feel as thick as a, a normal foundation. So I feel like, I feel like it's not as heavy on my skin. I'm gonna mix two. One that I haven't used in quite a while and I forgot how much I loved it. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy version. Mm. Such a great affordable foundation at the drugstore. Really great coverage. I like the finish a lot. It's a little bit light for me. And so I'm going to mix it with my go-to Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 128. And in this one I'm in Shell Ivory. Okay. Oh. I am gonna layer primer, duh. A okay. illuminating moisture balm, also by Bobbi Brown. This was actually given to me our f a friend of ours like had a bunch of tiny little sample things and she let us dig around and so, so I grabbed fun. this I'm pretty sure I wonder if that's the one that comes in the jar that everybody loves I think that's that's called face base I think oh yeah you're right that's the one Alana loves speaking of Alana oh yeah I did it did you I did okay good for you <laughs> I love nude stick so much. Yes. And I love her so much. Yes. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So for my primer, I used my Ren Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. I really love this stuff. It's so fantastic. Okay. I will say this is very orangey scented. Huh? Let me smell. Like orange and crayons. I think it smells a little spa like. Kind of. Oh, it's stronger there. It does. It smells a little bit like a Veda product. Yeah. So I will say it's a little like um, tacky, which was nice for under makeup because something will cling. Oh my God. I love this. I'm so happy. I knew you would. Because I, I don't even like cider. Yeah. It's not my favorite. But I love that. That's so good. It's literally fall. Yeah. Can. It reminds me, you know how like people started drinking alcoholic root beer? Yeah, I've never tried one. Me neither, because I don't like root beer. But oh, right. I forgot. I, it's just like, it takes something that you would drink normally, and then you just add alcohol to it, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah, that looks great. I would love that, probably. I like thin foundation. Yeah, it's I nice. Like it's like, a, it's a watery foundation. And so it's nice to just, to be honest, I have used it twice. And at, uh, at some point, both times, I've actually just like, put it in my hand and rubbed it all over and not even use the beauty blender and oh. that worked fine too. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
It is on the darker side. Normally I would never have picked up this color because I would never think that a 3.5 warm would work with my skin. Um, hmm. But one, I'm probably the tannest I've ever been since like spring break my senior year of college. And um, I think also because it is so thin, it doesn't like cake on your face and make you look crazy. Like your natural skin shows through it. It is not full, it is not even close to full coverage. Okay, I just put a little bit more of the light on because I went on vacation and there was no sun, so that really pissed me off. I'm not as tan as I want to be. Yeah, what a bummer. I read four books though. Wow. I know, I crushed it. Did you, how many beach days did you actually have? Three. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, foundation's on. Now I'm going to conceal. I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs, Jesus, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer, shade L6. I really love it. Recently, concealer has been a multi-step process for me. I think mainly because I've been enjoying doing it. <coughs> so I'm gonna start with the Glossier Stretch Concealer as per usual. I wanna buy that. You should. I think so too. I see people put concealer like around their lips. I'm like, why? No. Can I'm, someone tell me what that's all about? I'm working really hard to keep makeup off my mouth. So I'm gonna start with a very thin layer of the Glossier and then I'm gonna go over it with this new mm. Milk Makeup Concealer. Do you like it? I freaking love it. It's the Flex Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Again, normally if I would have seen this, I wouldn't have gotten it because the shade looks too dark, but. It probably matches your skin. Oh! Oh, I think I would like that. Look at you. Yeah. Like, let's just fucking conceal. Wow, and I'm like putting less concealer around my eyes. I wonder if. Maybe I should be doing that more. No, I'm like pro concealer right now. I think part of it is because concealer has been the only makeup I'm wearing. So I'm actually using it. I've been like dragging it down my cheeks a little bit to even out that texture and color there. Um, so now that I'm wearing foundation, I probably don't need to do this much concealer, but. So I am using something different to set my under eye. The same friend who gave us the Bobbi Brown thing also in the collection was this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, this little baby version. I like it. I thought, I thought you had had it before. No, never. But I don't know if it beats my cover up back. Mmm. Curious. Yeah. And I will say getting it out of this little tiny container is a real pain in the ass. And I yeah. tried to get the cap off, but I cannot do oh. it, which is a bummer. You need this little guy. I know. So I, I, I just set with my Huda Beauty. I've been using this for a while. It's not my favorite, but I have, you know, I have a shitload of it. So I will use it until it's gone because it does work well. It just has a lot of fallout. I've been Dim loving light. this. What is it? CoverGirl New Clean Fresh Powder. It's just a pressed powder, but it's so amazing. Hmm. I've and never used a pressed powder. It's at the drugstore. And like, look how cute this little pink packaging is. Birth control pills. Right. Good mirror too. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay. I'm gonna set, yeah, I'm gonna set my face today with this. I normally wouldn't use such a matte powder, but um, like Caitlin said, we're filming a bunch of videos. I'm gonna lean in so you can hopefully see a little bit what I'm doing, but. So I'm gonna contour, but then I am gonna try this. Yeah, I'm gonna contour. Ooh, I'm gonna Kevin Aquan contour just for y'all. Can I Kevin Aquan contour too? Yes, look, I already hit pan and I never use it. Mm. It's just so crumbly and dry. See, this pisses me off. Right, that's from me just. That should not do that. Mm -mm. Not for 47 fucking dollars or whatever it is. Caitlin barely tapped her brush in this product. Look at all this fallout. And look at the, how you've, I've hit pan. I, there, I've, there's no way I've used this product more than 15 times. That is, it's just such a delicately milled powder maybe? I don't know. It's very ashy. Yeah. I don't love it. It's almost too much. I don't love it. What color is this? It's light. Yeah. Light. <sighs> yeah, like a more I will say though. I do prefer the tone of my Fenty matchstick. Like, cause that's more, it's amber, right? Yeah, and it's funny cause it, you would think it looks the same, but it just reads. So I maybe cause it's a cream product and it blends out. I just don't, I don't love, I mean, I can make it work. Right, but I'm gonna bitch about it. Right, I'm just gonna piss and moan. Yes, 
Oh, am I doing my nose today? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, I'll do that. We don't know what we're doing. No, who? If you ever thought different. And I just feel like I need to blend out that contour so much. And then of, of course it ends up way too big. This is the Pixie by Petra Nuance Quartet in Honey Nectar. And yours is what shade? Sugar Blossom. Great packaging. Nice mirror. Thanks, Pixie. Yeah. Um, but I think mine is blushes and highlights. Okay. Do you think this is a blush? Because, no, I think that's a bronzer. You think? I do. Will you try it? Yeah. I like the color. Okay, cool. Let me try it. Is it? It's this one, right? Bottom left. I actually really like that because it's not orange. Okay, well, maybe we got a winner here, folks. I'm trying not to do myself dirty here like I often do. Because when I'm editing, I'm like, you're a dumb idiot! <laughs> Stop! Yeah, see, I don't even get that. I get it when I'm literally watching it and it's already on the internet. I'm like, oh man. Yours always looks better than mine for That's some reason. True. For some reason you put on more bronzer, yet mine looks more fucked up. Yeah, but then in photographs, your makeup's always better. <laughs> okay. I no, be, because who who's be always getting all the messages that's like, your makeup's so beautiful? It's always you. Yeah, your makeup uh -huh. is better, yeah. I'm a professional makeup artist. What? Obviously. What are you forgetting about that? Okay, I actually fucking love that. Yeah, it's good. It's like, it's not glittery, glittery, but it has a sheen that makes you look not wet, wet, awake. but awake. a little wet. Awake. Awake. Alive, Lord, awake, enthusiastic. Like, I should stop doing bronzer because I know I have enough on, and I actually think this is like the perfect, perfect. amount. But. Who needs perfection when you can have bronze? Okay, well, okay, I gotta be done with that. Cause I wonder how this is. Wow. Okay, don't let me use that. What is that? That's the blush. That's don't the let me use that. <laughs> no. Yeah. If you see me, put my brush anywhere near this shade, albeit beautiful. Just tell me no. Clown. It's called nectar. You're a clown. Oh my god, I really yeah, I like, do like it. That. I really like it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. okay. Blush. I'm gonna have to use this then. Or you oh, can use that dear. one. Just watch it. <laughs> oh, good God in heaven. Oh, Lord. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna a do dab it. and a dab. Oh. Okay. Doop, doop. Mm. This is very bright. That's not good. All right, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and this has actually been my patented blush technique recently, is I'm just gonna pack it on and I'm gonna do too much blush. And it's the DG method. And I'm not gonna worry about it because what I'm gonna, pardon me, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this e.l.f. flawless face, face brush and my hourglass dim light, and then I am actually just gonna go around the blush. I'm gonna do my forehead and my chin and my nose, but I'm gonna go around the blush and maybe slightly over it just to soften. I will say I don't love the blush. I'm a blush fiend and this is not my fave. I don't hate it. Well, I'm happy for you. I know, I wish we could like pop the squares out and mm -hmm. we could just make a palette. Can I use your hourglass? Yes. Thank you. See, look. Totally normal. Reasonable amount of brush. You do not have like any blush on right now. I do. I looked. You barely can see it. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the highlight out of my Sugar Blossom palette. Oh, this is called Sugar. This is called Honey. The blush that I used is called Blossom. The blush I used is called Nectar. Wow, who to thunk it? Okay, I'm going to load it up. Same. I love Pixie highlighters. They've been like my... Do we even show this? Not well. Sorry. No, we did we introduce suck. them. We, we did. Suck so bad. Let me see. Oh. oh, pretty. I like that. Oh yeah. Like I prefer a highlight that is not very impactful. Like I, I feel like when highlights came out, it was like highlight. Like you took an actual highlighter pen and like, like glue and glitter and just shoved it on your cheekbone. So I really like a highlight that is more subtle, more subtle and buildable. 
part of, and part I think of that I like this. Part of it is because like if they're crazy, then I can't wear them all the time and then they sit in my drawer and rot. So like they get rancid. I never did anything with the bake powder under my eye like a freaking moron. Oh, you just left it there? Yes. Oops. Okay, love this. Absolutely will use again. Do recommend. I like mine too. Pretty. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. subtle. But good. But good. Subtle but good. Yes. That's what I'm looking for in life. Should we use a blush chopper? <laughs> yep. See, I'm gonna right use here. my highlight brush so I don't get my blush brush like all shimmery. I'm not even looking in a mirror. That is so bad. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. I think I'm ahead. I'm gonna look at this video later and be like, you're an actual moron. No, it just adds like cheap highlight, honestly. Eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna attempt eyeshadow and we all know that, that how that goes. I got a new shade. I haven't used it yet. I know. I'm gonna try it. I saw it. Oh, did you use it? No, I opened oh. it, but I didn't use it. <laughs> I opened it. I wasn't gonna be the first one to well, use it. Well, you know, I don't care. Okay, so this is the Pixie Eye Effects in Rosette Ray. Mmm. Pretty name. Yeah, all very weird shade names though. Mushroom, Black Tulip, Wine, Mocha, Plum, Berry, Glow, Ice, and French Rose. Not sure what any of those have to do with each other. This is Pixie Eye Effects and Hazelnut Haze. They're quite similar. They're complementary. Yeah, I will say when we were picking which one we were going to keep, it kind of was like, who cares? Whatever. I don't care. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I love that. I that's like it. a burnt sienna. Ooh, yeah. this is prettier than I thought. We are not doing, we're not good influencers. No, because we're not influencers. We're just bitches doing our makeup on the internet. I'm using this shade, which I believe is ice on my inner corners. Ice. Ice. Like from Hocus Pocus. Yeah. It's not Ernie. Ice. It, ice. it ain't Ernie no more. <laughs> my name ain't Ernie. It ain't Ernie. I need to use a bronzer, I'm assuming, as my transition shade. In fact, I'll use the bronzer from the other Pixie palette and just say, hopefully this works. Okay. I'm gonna use the browns, surprise of all surprises. Okay, I'm gonna use, I really love cream eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Chocolate Bronze. FYI, I have the shade Bet, They've renamed all of the oh, names. Really? I don't think, I think they got in trouble for using names of people. Because there was like Marie Antoinette, Bette, blah, blah, Oh, like Bette, like Bette Midler? I don't know which Bette, but maybe. Lots of different people. They were named after all famous people. Like all of her lipsticks are like that. Like Nicole Kidman, Kim Kardashian West. So I don't know what's going on. So this is called Chocolate Bronze. It was called something else previously, but it's the same exact thing. It's very dark. I'm excited. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Because we're filming. When was the last? You haven't even gotten a chance to. How long have you owned it? A while. And you haven't touched it. That's why you're doing it today. That's dark. So I'm kind of making like a little palette with it on my hand because it is so deep. And I'm going to try to build it up in layers. These are just the most beautiful cream eyeshadows. So easy. How's yours going? Um, so really I'm just blending because for some reason it went on really patchy on my one eye. Ooh, what do we, what do we This happening? is Natasha Denona. Couldn't tell you the name of the shade because it came in a thing like this. It's from Sephora. It was in a kit, like a sample kit where you, like the play box kind of. I've just never used pressed pigments like this that make me like wet in my <sighs> pants. Wet in your pant. In okay. True right. Danielle fashion, bought shit she doesn't fucking need. Yeah. I see shiny things and I just want them. Not jewelry though. RMS Beauty Living Glow Face and Body Powder. It's like a anywhere you want it highlighter. And it is so blinding. All right, like what are we gonna do? Are we gonna put it on our faces? I think that's the plan. It comes with this tiny powder puff. It's cute. And it, but it sits on top of the product and collects product. I'm just curious what would happen if I actually did it. Honest. Should I just do it? I dare you. You're gonna regret it. Rugrats. Oh, regrets! Rugrats! Look at that. Oh no, we've got a little Tin Man situation here. 
I mean, I knew it was going to be bad. It's too much. It's too but much. But you just had to try. Okay. Okay. Well, it can be, it can be savage. Salvage. Sa savage. I'm savage. Not Carol. classy. Not bougie. Carol Baskin. <laughs> Killed her husband. <laughs> whacked him. Oh, it's pretty. But it's a lot. This is like a filming or event highlight. Like this is in direct opposition to what I said about my highlights that I've been loving before. We're gonna put it away. It's stunning. It looks amazing on a collarbone. If you're gonna wear like a slinky little dress or top, I highly God. recommend. Put it on your fucking shin bone and let your legs sparkle. I mean, highlight my fucking ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Mascara. Yeah, what are you doing? Priming my eyelashes, cause I'm a lunatic. Cute. I'm using two mascaras, so essentially I'm priming my eyelashes, but just with another mascara. But first, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh right, I forgot you do that Because now. I love a medieval torture device. I don't even think, I don't do it all the time, to be honest, I forget. I'm using the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. First time I used it, I was terrified, because it was like a medieval torture device. Second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, I fell in love, and now I think I'll buy the full size. It has been on my list. Um, I will say like the curling of the eyelashes I never know what order to do it in because I would prefer to like curl curl and then mascara mascara oh but you curl mascara curl mascara yes because I feel like it helps them I don't know do you know some people say mascara instead of mascara mascara M mascara I'm gonna line my lips with my favorite lip liner nude suede shoes by NYX I haven't 100% figured out what I'm going to do on my lips, but I am first going to line with the much more expensive version of that and with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I need to sharpen this. So I have never used this. This is the Lancome. Is this a Juicy Tube? Juicy Shaker. Juicy Shaker in the shade. I like to mauve it, which my mom would love because that was one of her favorite fucking things from the... Madagascar. I like to move it, move it. When all the lemurs. Lemurs, yeah. Because Christopher was obsessed with that movie. Oh, it's more pigmented than I realized. Really? Yeah. I feel like it doesn't have any color. I bought two new Buxom Full Force lipsticks. I got the shade Heartthrob, which is a lighter nude than Goddess. I hate myself. Um, so I don't really think that that had enough color payoff for me personally. For like a day, yes, but for filming, I'm like, let's go lip. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Buxom. It, I used it the other day and it was the first time that I put it on where it actually looks pink because I am so tan. Right. Normally it looks very brown, but it's beautiful. I love that so much. But like how one brown of my it used to look before. Yeah, I feel like this looks more how it looked when it was on Katie. And right. And we were like, oh, we love it. I need to tell you guys about a new lip gloss in town. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These are so spectacular. Very, very, very similar to the Fenty Gloss Bombs. They even have colors with all the glitter in it, just like Fenty. Mm. And they're like $8 at the drugstore. This is the shade Reef. Big doe foots, just like that. I feel like they're way more pigmented. This one is. The other ones are a little bit more sheer with like a wash of color. Well, these don't have, yeah, because this doesn't. This doesn't have glitter in it. No. The other ones do. Mm hmm Okay. These are our finished looks. Give us a rating. One to ten. Hmm? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I mean, honestly, it doesn't get better than us. So I am going to top it with a little bit of the Clarins uh, Natural Lip Perfector because I'm obsessed with it. Why don't you marry it if you're so obsessed with it? I would. Which inanimate object would you marry if you could? Hmm? Like, pretty natural looking. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wait, oh wait, eye makeup. Mm -hmm. I feel like I never wear makeup anymore, so... I still wear makeup, but not nearly this much makeup. I like the highlight a lot, actually. I like the highlight a lot, too. If anyone's asking, this, like, lightweight sweatshirt, heavyweight t-shirt is from Sweet Elizabeth Jane in Ellicott City. My sweatshirt is from J. Crew Factory. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's very lightweight. It's super comfortable. I love this Kelly green color. Someone told me it was my color. My headband is from Anthropology. My earrings are made by a local clay jewelry artisan. Her name is Megan and her, 
Her shop is called Caddington Clay, and they're very lightweight. They're very lightweight. It's almost like you can't even tell you're wearing earrings, mm. which is kind of interesting because you can do so many different patterns with clay, and you think clay sounds heavy, but I'm so surprised how light they are. Yeah, and those are cool because they're like little ropes. They're like yeah. little rope twists, so you can't really see the detail from that far, but yeah, go they up have in like there. They have like braiding. It almost looks like, yeah, they look like a braided detail. So we'll link her shop down below if you're interested. She has stuff not on hoops, she's got studs, all kinds of stuff. So thank you, mm -hmm. Megan, for the earrings. Lovingly gifted. Yes, lovingly gifted. Was there anything that was gifted that we didn't mention? Oh, Pixie. did we say that Pixie was gifted? Oh, Pixie did send that to us. Sorry about that. Yes, apologies. I'll mark in the description. Everything else I fucking paid money for. Aha! Well, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. We are back. We're making content. We will be filming probably frantically until the holidays, I would guess. Yeah. So feel free to send us any ideas that you might have for new videos, new podcasts, new Instagram content. We'll do it. Watch our last video. Watch our next Actually, video. Actually, don't watch our last video because it's beer tasting and it was so fucking boring. But people watch it anyway. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. Let's roll straight into it. What did you say? No, before that, roll, roll right. Roll, we're gonna go roll right into. Cut it. Mike.